Today, Democratic Forces of Azerbaijan celebrated the 24th anniversary of the establishment of Azerbaijani Popular Front, which led the National Freedom Movement in country in 1989. The event was held at the office of the Civil Solidarity Party. The Popular Front wasn't developed as a party. It's a result of our nation's struggle for freedom and independence, said the leader of the party, Ali Karimli. He noted that a number of parties were developed from this movement later on, all of which faced the pressures of the authoritarian regime. The first attempts to destroy the movement were made after the punishment operation of the Soviet army in Baku in 1990. The second attempt occurred during the coup of 1993. The third effort to destroy APF was made in 2000 after the death of its leader Abul Fazel Chubay. Other members of the Popular Front Isa Gambar, Sabir Rustam Khanli, Jamil Hassanli, Ibrahim Ibrahimli, Suhattin Akbar and others talked about the connection between the People's Republic of Azerbaijan of 1918-20 and the National Freedom Movement of 1988-1993, also National Council's current struggle for free elections. The speakers drew attention to the determination of the democratic forces represented by their single candidate Rustam Ibrahim Bayov to win the upcoming presidential election. Ibrahim Bayov, who is the chairman and the presidential candidate of the National Council, has sent a congratulatory letter to the Popular Front where its role in achieving Azerbaijan's state independence was highly commended. Professor Jamil Hassanli noted that by securing the state independence, Azerbaijani Popular Front accomplished the first stage of its program. But independence and freedom are quite different things. Our next challenge is to guarantee the country's and its citizens' freedom in the presidential election, he stressed. The speaker strongly criticized the revision of the history by which the authorities tried to diminish the Popular Front's role in gaining state independence from the Soviet Union. The gathering condemned the arrest of activists and the pressure on political and economic freedoms.